two questions that I often get with Photoshop are how do I change the color of a person's shirt or an object in the image? And how do I selectively colorize an image? How do I make it black and white, but just part of it color? Both are really easy, but you need to know some tips and tricks. So let's take a look. All right, so here we have a really colorful image, and I want to talk about how we're going to adjust those colors. The hue saturation adjustment layer is a great way to do that. It's non-destructive, so anything that we do here can be turned off and on. So I can pull the saturation, and we can desaturate or saturate the image. And I can pull the hue, and you'll see that all of the colors in the image are going to change dramatically. But let's talk about how to do this selectively. Let's just go ahead and delete this. Let's change the color of my little boy's shirt here. And to do that, we're going to start with a selection of just the shirt. I'm going to use my Quick Select tool, and I'm going to Option or Alt click to deselect the area I don't want. That looks good. I'm going to come back into the same hue saturation adjustment layer, and you'll see that we've created a mask when we went in there. And what that means is that anything we do is only going to affect that region. And these sliders work fine, but there's a much better way to do this. We're going to use this on image tool right here. And with it, all we need to do is click and drag left or right to saturate or desaturate the image. And where this gets really interesting is if I hold down the command key, I can change the color. I'm changing the hue on the fly here. So I get the color I want, and then I can even adjust the lightness of it. So now he's got a lighter blue shirt. OK, that was pretty easy. Now let's look at how to do that with black and white selectively. All right, so there's a black and white adjustment layer here. And I'm going to click on that. And the whole image is black and white. So in order to mask off that area, I'm just going to hold down my Option or Alt key while dragging the mask up. And it's going to ask me if that's what I want to do. Yes. But we see that we've got the whole image in color and just a shirt in black and white. But that's all right. In doing that, we also prompted this mask panel. And if I choose Invert, now I have the image I want. And in this panel, I can do some really cool stuff. I can adjust the density of the mask, which will just chew right through it to the information behind it. And I can feather the edges of the mask as well to soften things out a little bit. So there you see that using masks and the on-image control, you can adjust hue, saturation, and even selective coloring really quickly and easily in a non-destructive workflow. All really great things for your Photoshop playbook.